Welcome guys to my creative corner. This is Claudette Why create projects using stamps, inks, paper, mixed media, embellishment, and a whole lot of joy. Today I'll be showing you how I create this beautiful Christmas card. This is a different layout. You could create a card for any occasion using this layout. So if you're interested in this, please stay tuned. If you're new to my channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button as well as the bell icon so you can be notified when I upload my latest videos. So let's get started. So I want to show you the beautiful um, printed paper, a designer series paper that I use. These products are by Stampin' Up. I'm a independent Stampin' Up demonstrator. And this is the Hot Warming Hugs Designer Series paper. They have designs on both sides. So I'm just going to go through those so you could see the beautiful Christmas colors. And these could be for other occasions too as well, not necessarily Christmas. But I think these are gorgeous prints. I just love the checkers. Who doesn't like polka dots? Loved stripes. So you get a total of 12 designer series paper. Those are 12 by 12 and you get six designs, two of each design. So I am going to be featuring the stamp set wrapped in Christmas. So to create our card, we're going to need the base of our card. And this is measuring eight and a half by five and a half. And then we're going to fold it down the middle, which would be four and a quarter. We're going to take our bone folder and create that crease. Then you're going to need some white cardstock. This red cardstock is called Real Red. And then you're going to need the Whisper White. And this is measuring three by four and a quarter inch. And we're going to go ahead and do some stamping. I am going to bring in our Stamparatus, which is a stamping device. Instead of using your blocks, you have this. The nice thing about this tool is if you miss a spot you could go right back down on the same spot that you missed and i am going to we it comes with two strong magnets so i'm going to hold our paper down and i am going to place the stamp where i would like it this is a rubber stamp so you don't have to it comes with a cushion if you use the clear photopolymer stamps, then you use that cushion. And this stamp that I'm using is this stamp right here. Let the joy of the season fill your heart. So I put it down on where I would like it to be on my cardstock. I'm going to go ahead and close the lid and just pick that up. It's nice to put something to the back of the cover just to give you some support when you're stamping up your image. So you could put the case for your stamp. And what we're going to do is we're going to do multicolors on this. And I am going to be re using, uh, put the joy in real red. And I'm going to put the other sentiments, the other writings in granny apple green, which is a nice um, beautiful green. So I am going to take some masking tape and just tape off the areas. And I just want the joy exposed. Then we're going to bring in our real red ink pad and then we're going to ink that up pretty good. We're going to remove our tape. Then we're going to go ahead and bring our lid, close our lid down. And then we're going to give that a good press.
so we have that joist so we're gonna go ahead and clean off our stamp all right so next what we're gonna do is mask after word joy Next, what I'm going to do is bring in a green, and this is called Grantney Apple Green. And we're going to go ahead and ink up our stamp. Then we're going to take our masking tape off, and then we're just going to go ahead and close that. Give that a good press. I'm going to ink it up one more time because I want it to be a little darker. So we're going to go ahead and cover that up again. Ink up, stamp up. Take our masking tape off. And go ahead and close that lid down give that a nice press and that is nice I like that okay so next what I'm gonna do is take this stamparatus out of the way so we're gonna bring our pieces back in again So I went ahead and used this designer series paper and I cut two strips of paper and those pieces are measuring a half an inch by four inches. So you need two strips of paper measuring a half an inch by four inches and it, you need one large shape. So I went ahead and did a shape of a bell and I got that from, we have some um, dies and these are called sounds of the season dies and these are the dies here so i went ahead and cut that out using um, the gold foil and these little pieces with the leaves and the um the holly berries every those comes out but i kept them in and they also have this also has a matching stamp set that goes with it cherish the season So what we're going to do is go ahead and glue those pieces down. So I'm going to line this up whereas this is this way underneath the white cardstock. And you could design this any way you would like. So I'm going to put that there. I'm going to get a pencil mark and I'm just going to mark where I want that to be. So we're going to start with that one there. I'm going to get some liquid glue. And I'm going to use the side with the stripes. And I am going to go ahead and put that down right by where my pencil is marked. Make sure it is even with the edges and then seal that down. Next, I am going to bring in the white cardstock. I'm going to add the liquid glue to this. If you guys are getting any creative creative value from this video, please go ahead and smash the like button down below. So then we're going to center this like so. Then we're going to bring in our other strip of paper. We're going to add some glue. And both sides are beautiful on these designer series papers, so you could use whichever design side you want. So I'm just going to add this to the top right there. Then what I'm going to do is bring in that bell and 
I'm going to put some multi-purpose glue on this and I am using the uh, glitter art glue and if it have any seepage on this it dries when it dries it's not tacky so that's what I like about the glitter art glue we're gonna put this here in the corner like so then we're gonna bring in some ribbon And this ribbon is in the real red too to match the cardstock. And that's the beautiful thing about stamping up. The colors are, they take the guesswork out of matching up your um, projects because they everything matches so well from the embellishment to the, from the cardstock, you name it. They just coordinate their colors so well so what I'm going to do is bring in my scissors and just cut the edge of that off and I'm just going to cut it at a slant just going to tighten up this bow a little bit and I am going to use a glue dot to stick that down and I would recommend using um, hot glue to me I find the glue dot is not permanent it moves it pops off at times so I re would recommend that you use some hot glue to put your that keep your bowl down then we have some red rhinestones and I'm just gonna put them down with the holly berry what do you think? You prefer it without the rhinestones or with the rhinestones? So in our sample, we have the rhinestones. So I am just gonna use our take your pick tool and then we will add some rhinestones to that. I would list in the description down below all the products that I use, as well as the measurements that I use to create these beautiful cards. What I'm going to do is go ahead and stamp the sentiment inside Christmas blessing to you and yours. So let's see, I am going to go ahead and use the real red on that. So it'd be kind of tone on tone. So if you want, you could use a black or a darker red, but I'm going to go ahead and use the real red and stamp that. And you could also put a piece of um, white cardstock inside here too as well. And that is just also light. So that was a quick card. And like I say, you could make this for any occasion that layout um you guys get out there and be creative thanks for tuning in to my creative corner this is claudette and i'll catch you guys on the next video